complete combustion of octane probably happens in your engine if you have a car. I don't, but whatever, I get Ubers. What happens for complete combustion? You have C8H18, that is your reactant, and combustion means you are reacting it with oxygen from the air usually. What do you get when that happens? You get the oxides of carbon and hydrogen. Carbon gives you carbon dioxide gas, and hydrogen gives you hydrogen oxide, which is water. I like making it gas because burning things or combusting them makes heat, so you're probably gonna get steam instead of liquid water. Okay, this is it. This is the unbalanced equation. Complete combustion is always the same. It's just oxygen, carbon dioxide, water, done. Let's balance it together. Eight carbons on the left, I need eight carbons on the right. 18 hydrogens on the left, I need 18, but they already come in packs of two, so I only need nine here. Now I have some oxygens, how many do I have over here? Eight times two is 16, and then nine of them makes 25. Okay, 25 O's on the right, they come in pairs. How many pairs do I need? Well, one option is to just do 25 divided by two for the pairs, that's 12.5, but some teachers don't want you to use fractions. In that case, you're gonna to wanna to double all of these coefficients. One becomes two, eight becomes 16, nine becomes 18, and 25 over two times another two gives you the 25. You can take it on faith that two 25, 16, and 18 gives you the balanced chemical reaction, or you can balance it your damn self by starting with a two in front of octane. I don't care, this is it. You got what you needed from me. Best of luck to you.